Hey guys, Tessa Stoffer here. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much for all the love and prayers and support that you sent to our team that recently went to Honduras. Um, it was really incredible, even from the start, to know how supported we were by a community that just wanted to cheer us on and intercede for us and support us in any way possible um, as we sought to be the hands and feet of Jesus in a place that several of us had never been before. I don't think I would be speaking out of line for anyone to say that this trip was incredibly impactful for us all. Um, I know personally, I will cherish these memories forever. Um, I definitely was not sure that this was something I would get to experience. Um, a lot of prayer went into asking um, the administration at my brand new job um, to have a week off two weeks before spring break. Um, way back in November when we were in early stages. And so to get the green light from them and see God and all the little details leading up to and throughout the trip was just really incredible for me um, to see him and all the details there you know it was it was really an awesome thing um, I know that we talk about it a lot that God is in the details that God is in all these little things that we don't see and um, I think sometimes because we don't ever just stop and look at the details. It's it's hard to imagine that we have um, a God so intimately involved in our lives um, that it was really neat to see him at work and all the little details. Um, I heard some really incredible stories this week from people who who shared the ways that God is in the details of their lives and um, just one thing that I would like to share about someone I met and just kind of about this whole details thing is, um, you know, I'm a mom who works and goes to school and is trying to do the best for my little family and it just so happened that one day while we were up installing water filters in a group of homes that um, I got to step away from the job and go do some spiritual care. And I walked in and they said, hey, this is Maria and you're going to you're going to get to talk with her a little bit about um, her life and what this is going to mean to her. And so I sat down with Maria and her little boy came running out. And so right away, um, I was like, yes, a mom. I like, I speak mom, right? And so, you know, I asked about her little boy and, you know, you could tell she was just so proud. And, you know, and I was asking, you know, does she stay at home? And, you know, here was kind of an uncommon um, woman that I was meeting here because a lot of women stayed home in a lot of the communities that I had been in. And Maria shared that she couldn't, they couldn't afford for her to stay home. And so she had to work. And oftentimes, because she taught kindergarten, she had to take her son to school with her. And that happened to work out, um, but you could just tell she she was tired, and you know I got to share with her a little bit about my life and being a mom and being a working mom and you know wanting what's best for our kids, and it made me think in that moment like, okay, God really sees us enough that he put Maria and myself together to sit and have a conversation as just two moms trying to do the best for our kids and 
raise them to know the Lord and um, just doing the best we can um, to really just connect on a level and you know it definitely made me think like God truly is in all these intricate details of our lives that he would plan ahead that we would meet each other and hopefully see him in that meeting right um that truly was one incredible moment out of several um and I'm sure I'm not even capturing um just how deeply that impacted me um and then of course one of the highlights of the entire week was the wedding and I wish I could say that it was just one thing that stood out but everything about this wedding was incredible um, from setting up and praying over um, the arch at the altar and and praying over tables and praying over guests who weren't there yet and um you know just spending this entire day getting energized for this couple who we had met once briefly and conversed with but man it anyone who knows me knows I love a good love story but I love it even more when Jesus is at the center and this couple just really wants to um, lead others to the Lord and lead in their church and they're expecting a child and that's just incredible that they want to raise their child up um, to go in the way um, to follow Jesus to um, hopefully become another leader as well and and that's incredibly touching and what it's all about right um but one truly incredible thing is that it started to rain a little bit before the wedding and I asked somebody you know what do you think what do you think it's going to do if someone who works at the organization we we were at and they said you know what? I, I don't think it's going to rain. This is a blessing. God is giving a refreshing. And I kind of thought, that sounds really good. That sounds good. I, I'll believe that. And, um, you know, not, not a speck of rain, but the sky was open with, you know, these beams of sunlight coming through the clouds just over us it was just a really incredible sight to see and you know we get the last party guests packed on the bus after the wedding and it's not just a sprinkle it's not just a rain but it's a whole thunderstorm you know and it, it, God held that back and uh, that was just um, something that, you know, even talking about it, I think, well, that sounds probably, probably lamer than it was. Like, it was a really incredible experience. So, um, so many more stories. Such amazing people. I know I was probably much more impacted than the impact I even made or that our entire team even made. Um, so again, thank you so much. This was just an incredible trip. Uh, if it's something that you've ever thought about, don't think twice, do it, just do it. Um, I don't think you would be disappointed if it's something you can't do. Um, but love to support, continue to support it because I know that I would go back, others would go back and hopefully, um, with the stories that, that we'll share, um, other people will be inspired to go as well. So thank you so much.